Hello, everyone, and welcome to the basketball edition of the NVSU Coaches Show. I'm your new host, Mr. Thaddeus Childs. And I'm Rhett Sotis, and welcome to the Delta Devils Coaches Show. Okay, starting out, we have to give congratulations to Kanisha Smith. You know, uh, she had over the 1,000 points in her career right here at NVSU with 1,021 points, uh, 557 rebounds, and 269 assists and 194 steals. That's a great accomplishment, Rex. Like, mm -hmm. she really played a great game. I really think, like, the whole game, the whole ba the whole basketball, girls' basketball game was a very intense game. It was very mm -hmm. defense-driven. Um, I feel like the NVSU girls really came out and they really played a hard game. They really had a lot of turnovers, but yet yeah. still they came out with the victory and they really mm -hmm. played a good game. Yeah, I think they could have, uh, you know, cleaned up a little mistakes, like shots that should have never been yeah. shot when they knew they couldn't hit it anyway. So I'm like, why take those shots? But uh, I'm going to have to give praise to Davina Jefferson, yeah. who came in at Great crunch play. time. And she came in, she basically turned the point, you know, game around, putting them up with the seven points she did score. She went in, she hustled, and she did what she needed to do, you know, to, uh, to keep the team in the game, you know, and to keep everything going. I really think she liked it. She really hit some very, very key shots. Like, mm -hmm. she had a couple threes that she hit that were very vital. Mm -hmm. And so making the girls come up and win through half through halftime, after halftime, she came out hot. Mm -hmm. She Real hot. she really just let them bank, and she Alcorn's defense really didn't know how to stop her container. They really didn't know how to stop her, uh, man, because she was she was really hot. And now also we have um, Kanisha Smith, which scored ten points, but Dakeisha Funder was hot. She scored sixteen points, and she's also Swack Player of the Week. Yeah, yeah, Swack Player of the Week, scoring thirteen point five points per game, 2.5 steals, and so many assists per game. So, hey, we going to sweat championship this year. You think, girls? So? I know so. I do, yeah. You know, they have to really just step it up and really just really, really, really cool it on getting the turnovers. Like, the turnovers, mm -hmm. like, allowing the turnovers from the other team, they really can't do that. But I really think they can do All it. Alcorn had a real tough time trying to get the ball off, but – their main weakness was they kept getting a lot of turnovers because if you see if you look if you seen the game, the girls had got a lot of fast breaks, which yeah. led them to this victory. Yeah. I'm talking about every time, you know, v Davina got in there, steal right here, intercept it right here. They was really hustling and they did a lot of fast breaking to get down the court to put the points up. And also we got a couple of threes too. Dakeisha yeah. Funded, yeah. Davina Jefferson. Uh it was it was really uh, you know, it was really Another a good competition. Another key factor that I like that the NVSU girls show was like they went once getting the turnovers from the Alcorns basketball team, they they capitalized. They mm -hmm. didn't just get the steal and just didn't score. Like they really yeah. capitalized on a lot of turnovers, getting points, and I really think that they used that as an arsenal into making a lot of points and getting on the getting on the scoreboard. And yeah, Alcorn, um, they they did real good, but um, you know. It, it was a very good game, but mm -hmm. now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to some interviews from the girls' basketball coach, mm, uh, Tonya Edwards. Tonya Edwards. Uh, we also have Kara Ruffin, one mm -hmm. of the key players in this game yes. for Alcorn. Like, she really stepped up mm -hmm. for a team and tried to get them the win. Um, also, we have Davina Jefferson. Also a key player that was uh, doing great, a great and job. And Mo with Coach game. Kilbert. Coach know. Kilbert. Uh -huh. All right. Well, let's go to some of these interviews right now. Be right back.
Yeah, and that was the interviews. But uh, like Coach Kibber says, we do have a lot of turnovers. We had 17 turnovers, but Alcorn had 24 turnovers. But the thing about that was the strength we had was we set the pace of the game. Right, See, because we were switching defense so many times, Alcorn didn't know what hit them. Because right. every time you looked at the Keisha Funding was over was open, then you had Davina, she was right. stealing the ball, then you got Kanisha Smith getting all these rebounds. They really didn't know what hit them. And I really think that was a key factor in this game. I really feel like Alcorn with the Delta Devilettes mm -hmm. switching defenses like that, it was kind of throwing Alcorn's offense off. Like they really just didn't know which way to which how to set against that because they mm -hmm. were they were causing turnovers and then and then on top of that, after getting the turnovers they got the ball back, scored, mm -hmm. which causes which caused Alcorn's offense to really just have to step it up because they yeah. were allowing these points to happen right in front of them. I feel like 
the Devil has really capitalized on these turnovers, but mm -hmm. at the same time, Alcorn's defense wasn't bad either. Yeah. So I feel like the Devil has really had to step it up because they they really they were getting these points off of Alcorn's turnovers, but at the same time, Alcorn was responding with their points as well. But mm -hmm. in all, I think the Devil X really came through and they did a great job. Well, uh, what the Devil X did great was breaking down Alcorn defense. Definitely. Because every time you look up, they was on a fast break right. from their turn turnover. If they wasn't a fast break, it was somebody scoring on the inside exactly. or the outside. It's like they had somebody somewhere that was open right. or somebody that was willing to take the chance to put faith in the ball to, to actually get the ball score and, you know, just actually take the win home. Right. And Davina Johnson really – was where she needed to be. Mm -hmm. Whenever a turnover happened, like she was where she needed to be at that mm -hmm. time. And I think like when she pulled up the, the three shots, she really she she came through. Yeah. But and in the interview, as you saw, Kia Ruffin, she was you know she caused a lot of turnovers, as she say. But at the same time, I really feel like she she really came through for her team. Her and um, Carolin Carolincia Crumbly, like they really had good chemistry. Like although the other three players on the court, they were. They were really commanding the team to step yeah. it up, cause the Devilettes were coming at them full force, and I really just think like you know, they could they could have done better, but at the same time, we I'm just happy we got the win. Well, I got to give it to Alcorn. They did a good job trying to work together, trying to stop the offense, but it wasn't strong enough. Right. It was like they was like more <clears throat> confused or where to go or what to do and, and everything else. Right. So I really just think like it was a very very defense based game. Like. Mm -hmm. It was it was awesome. So, you know, right now we're going to take a quick break, and uh, when we come back, we're going to have the men's stats here on the Basketball Coaches Show. Be right back. Hello, my name is Portia Cummings, and I'm a graduate of Mississippi Valley State University. My degree was in mass communications with emphasis in broadcasting. My degree has taken me to great heights with an internship at Cox Radio and a job with ABC Birmingham. Mississippi Valley has helped me and qualify and train me in my professional studies. Mississippi Valley has left me with endless opportunities. Let them help you. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent, because kids in foster care don't need perfection, they need you. Langston Hughes once asked an interesting question. What happens to a deferred dream? Well, here at Mississippi Valley State University, we answer. Deferred dreams can be realized. Have you ever wanted to return to college and complete your undergraduate degree? Will obtaining your undergraduate degree increase your chances for a promotion at your job? Well, now you can meet both those goals with MVSU Renaissance Learning Program. This program gives those who may have started their degree some time ago the opportunity to come back and complete their undergraduate degree in organizational management in as little as 18 months. If you think you are this person, simply give us a call at 662-897-1550 for further information. At Mississippi Valley State University, we believe that deferred dreams can be realized. All right, welcome back. Uh, we're here, and we're talking about now, Rex. I think we're going to get into men's basketball. All right. All right. This game was very was a very good game. Yeah. It was it was action packed. You know, you had Corey J. Cox dunking, getting everybody excited. As soon as he got up, you know, bench. you have Alcorn's men. They were they they really knew they were what they were. I don't think they knew what they were going up against. Mm -hmm. And I really think that our team was a, was a, played a great game. They were the better team. They came out. They had an objective, and I think they executed. Um, what are some of your thoughts? Like, what do you think? Like, Alcorn should have done to you know get that win. Well, uh, like um, at the first half, in the first half, you know, we kind of had probably the first two, three minutes, we had a problem, you know, breaking right, down right. the de defense. But 
you know, the devils, we went in there, we took charge, and we controlled the pace of the game, even though Alcorn scored, scored first or whatever. We set the pace for the game, which was com comfortable for them. Right. And you have Paul Crosby, he stayed open. And I think they wasn't expecting him to shoot those threes like he did. Right. He came off the bench scoring 14 points. Then you had Tamaris Joyner coming in, scoring 22, and Philando right. Jones with, that scored another 14 points and like 15, 13 rebounds, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Yeah. And I and another thing that I noticed that Alcorns, their defense, they really just didn't know how to stop Paul. No, you know, like at first, didn't. like they kind of they 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 were right there. Soon as soon as Kevin Kevin Burwell, point guard, he would inbound the ball. They were right there. But I think bringing it down the court. Kevin really just saw straight through the defense and kind of like got Paul where he needed to be because they mm -hmm. they knew that Paul I don't think they knew as much that he was going to be such a key factor. They tried to contain him and try to stop him from getting into paint, but he just he just found a way around it. You yeah, know? Kevin he played a real good game too. You know, even though I think he scored like nine points with seven assists right. because he actually was setting them up. And in the time right, he seen right. somebody open to going to the basket on a fast break, he gave them the ball immediately, right. which also helped us you know get into the double digits. Right. Right. You know, so we can control the game. And I, you know, as I feel like Alcorn, they should have, they should have just stayed and kind of like went, got more shots from that, from behind the three-point line. Behind because like three. inside, like the Delta Devils defense, they're really just not allowing anything. And that caused them to get turnovers. And with those mm -hmm. turnovers, you know, our guys, they capitalized on it. But at the same time, our guys had some turnovers too. But at the same time, they knew what they had to do getting back and up and down the court. Mm -hmm. We have to score. Yeah. You know, you can see like the intensity was we have to win this game. That was also the advantage we had over Alcorn because we have some three-point shooters. Yeah. Because we win when they recognized we couldn't work the ball on the inside like right. we should have, right, right. what they went, what they did. They went to the three-point line. Tamis Jordan came one. Right. Philando came one. Right. And Paul Cross became with a couple. Right. And they actually really put us up for the victory and gave us a little space. Right. But I think we could have played a lot better, though, you know, because we had got too many turnovers. We had 24 turnovers. Mm -hmm. And Alcorn only had 17. Right. Even though they still lost, you know. I think that's too many turnovers for a winning team. Yeah, it, it was. But I think that, like you, like you stated, the three-point shots, those were an arsenal that I think that Alcorn didn't know was coming their way. Like, mm -hmm. I think the crowd got more – it got the crowd involved. And, like, when yeah. you get the crowd involved at your home stadium, it kind of gives you a momentum. Momentum. Because, like, in the first half, they, they came out. Like, they came out like, this is our game. We know we won, and we're going to get it. Yeah. You know, but uh, 